Hi guys, today I want to share with you my January favorites. My favorite thing this past month has actually been the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. This is really similar to the Buxom lip glosses. It kind of has that stinging sensation in your lips when you first put it on, then it fades pretty quickly, but you're left with plumper lips basically. I had my doubts about this actually working, but I've been putting it on my lips before I go to sleep every night, and I do think that I see a difference. So the fact that it says long term makes me think that it'll just keep improving, like you'll keep seeing a bigger difference the more you use it. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, then definitely try this. I'm so out of breath. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe this is actually my favorite thing from last month. This is the... Good. I'm gonna pronounce this right. Okay, just give me a minute to figure it out. This is the Rouge Dior lipstick in the shade Rose Baser. Um, it's this beautiful pink that I've never really seen before in other lipsticks. It's just such a pretty color. And I know I'm gonna continue wearing this throughout the spring too. I just really love that it's something different. Most of my pinks that I have in my collection are kind of like nude tones, um, very like tan colored pinks, not really your berry fuchsia almost colored pinks. It's very hard to get into that territory without it quickly becoming like a hot pink color. Um, so I really love this shade. For a few months now, people have been wearing a lot of stick foundations. And back in the day, I really loved the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick. And so I decided to pick this up again. And I have been loving wearing this. You just do like a quick few little stripes across your face and I blend it in with a beauty blender and I feel like it um, helps me do my makeup so much um, faster. And I just love the finish. It just has such a high coverage that I didn't expect. This is in the shade Warm Ivory and I really love the scent to it too, which I think is important to have in your foundations. I've heard really good things about the Hourglass Foundation and the Makeup Forever one. So I hope sometime soon I can try those ones out as well. In my most recent haul video, I picked up the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And I really do think this has a lot of coverage to it. This reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Concealer. It's just very creamy and a little goes a long way. So I really love using this and I like that it's good for my skin. Depending on what I feel like doing, I always seem to just sort of cycle through bronzers. For a long time, I only would use the Nars Laguna, then I was using one of the Hourglass ones, and now I've been using the Benefit Hula Bronzer pretty much the entire last month. I just like that it's a very subtle, tan that it gives you. In January, I don't want to go all out. There's something else about it too. It's almost like when you put it on and you wait a bit after you do the rest of your makeup, then you look at it again. Maybe it's the finishing spray that also helps this. Is it just gives you like a soft, like almost a dewy finish. It just really settles into your skin nicely. I don't know if you're like me or not, but sometimes I have a lot of trouble with my eyebrows depending on how how they're done. You know, like if I want them to be really thin or like really not very long or anything, really, really, really groomed or something, it really affects how I fill them out. So when I'm in one of those situations where I didn't do my brows correctly, um, then this stencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills really helps. It actually is a pack of about five stencils and it has a petite arch, a slim high arch, a medium arch, a high arch, and a full arch. So depending on what kind of eyebrow you're going for, you can get a different shape. This is the stencil basically. 
um, and it helps you kind of determine where your art should be, how to make it more round if you want. They say you're supposed to use the one that fits most of your natural brow into the stencil and then kind of trace around that. But you could also do it as like which brow shape do you want. So I really think it helps especially towards the center of your face to, to kind of give it that like done structure. So I would really recommend trying those if you haven't. It's been like at least 10 minutes and I'm still out of breath. I went to the gym this morning but like that's not why I'm out of breath. This is just me and my oxygen levels at this moment. <laughs> it's raining outside and I really want it to be summer. I want it to be like the middle of July and like sun is actually coming in the window and I want to film during the day and I just love everything about summer like the fashion and like the fun bright makeup looks you can do and I don't know I just really love summer what season do you guys like let me know down below um so those were all of my January favorites thank you guys so much for watching as always I appreciate every comment every thumbs up every subscriber so much you have no idea and I will see you in my next video bye